here at PRI 2016. We're excited to be here in the Ford Performance booth to show you the new Ford Shelby FP350S. Now it's been a couple years since Ford's brought out a factory built race car and we're really excited to be part of this car. I think they really hit it out of the park and we are going to be the 18 inch option, forged option for the car. And now we'd like to give you a look at the car. We're going to introduce Dave Bourne from Ford Performance. He's going to tell you and show you about the car. Hi, I'm Dave Bourne. I'm from Ford Performance Parts and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new Shelby FP350S that we unveiled here at PRI in 2016. This car is targeted at, uh, at really the sportsman level guy, the track day guy who just you know, doesn't want to take his new Shelby and tear it up and put a cage in and, and go through all that trouble and ruin his, his great street car. He can, he can choose to select this car that's got everything already done, all worked out, all engineered for him. Uh, all the safety systems that you need, you know, everything taken care of to take it out and have a really great time uh, driving at a, at a racetrack. So we've worked with the sanctioning bodies at SCCA Club Racing. Uh, it slots into the T1 and T2 classes there as a turnkey car so you can take it and go get into racing if you'd like to. It also fits in in Trans Am in their TA3 and their TA4 classes. Uh, which is, you know, really a growing series and uh, it's going to be a great place for this car to go and really excited to see it racing there. So, you know, that, that's the, the intent of the car, so maybe we'll just tell you a little bit about it. Um, you know, as you can see, it's got some pretty extensive aero on it. We've got a, you know, big splitter on the front here, big wing on the rear for lots of downforce. You can see inside the car, it's got this full, uh, full roll cage system in it. Uh, FIA compliant roll cage, right? Same, same roll cage that's in our, our uh, upscale version, the GT4 version, that runs uh, in the IMSA series and the Pirelli World Challenge as well as any GT4 series around the world. Uh, you know, that car is a, a, a more serious race car meant for the professional. Again, this is more of our, our track day car. Come around the side, something you'll see, you know, we've got these optional forged line wheels and hiding behind those are some AP racing brakes. This thing has got some really outstanding brakes. They were a great value that we put in for the car, um, but that, those, are, those are some just amazing brakes that we've got. So let's take a look under the hood here. Uh, 5.2 liter engine. Uh, very, very production based, right? Very similar to what's in the, the street going cars. Um, with, with a few appropriate changes made to, uh, uh, as you would expect for the, for the you know, needs of a race car. Um, you can see a, a breather system in here, you know, we, we took the, the traditional system out of the Boss Rio 2S and applied it to this. Uh, it has a, a 12 sump, or 12 quart deep sump oil pan that I'd mentioned, uh, necessary for road racing. Uh, but really otherwise very, very production based under the hood here. As another interesting feature you might notice here is the caster camber plates that we've got on the shock towers. Uh, different than most you'll see in the aftermarket and I, it's, a, it's a small feature but something I'm really excited about. The way these things work is we've got shims here on either side that you can pull these bolts out, you can take the shim and you can adjust the caster or adjust the camber on these things and each shim is a specified number of uh, num specified change for the number of degrees that you've got, right? So, and a, and a more traditional uh, plate that you would see there, it, you know, you've got a faster and you loosen it and you slide it, but then you have to go check it. And, uh, and if you want to move back and forth at a, at a racetrack, you're going to have a hard time being able to control that. With these, with these shims, if you know what each one is, you make a change. If it's not enough, you can make the change. If you want to go back, you can get it exactly back to that same spot much more easily than you can with, with uh, most of the adjustable plates you'll see. So it's a really neat system. I'm uh, really excited about that, having that on there. We're not the first ones to do it, but it's just it's a nice, it's a nice add, to the, add to the car. So the new, the all new Shelby FP350S is available for pre-order now at your Ford dealership. You go to the Ford uh, parts counter in the back. Uh, the car is an MFP500 350S. Ask for that part number and you can get yourself on the pre-order list. Uh, pricing will be announced shortly and cars will be available mid next year.